Sweat Equity Podcast, the number one business comedy podcast out there in the streets, in your earphones, on your screens. We're number one because there's no one in the category. Hell yeah! Yeah, baby. Hey, we're trying to dole out that pragmatic entrepreneurial advice, but throwing in some dick jokes peppered in there with, I'm your host, uh, Law Smith, <laughs> sitting next to me is your host, Eric Reginger. With, I'm your host? Yeah. yeah. Cool. I had a stroke midway through. With, I'm your stroke, Law With, Smith. I'm your stroke. With, I'm your stroke and listen to on... Uh, <laughs> iTunes, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Laughable, Watch on YouTube, Facebook, Vimeo, LinkedIn, your mom's Walkman, your mom's Fanny Pack, Fupa, hit it! This episode, a very Russian episode, is brought to you by Grasshopper. Try try grasshopper.com forward slash sweat. Gets you $75 off an annual phone plan. I have this on my phone. I do not have a Google voice number for my business. That tells me you're a total jabroni when I call, right? Fucking thing sucks! Uh, Grasshopper's awesome. Try grasshopper.com forward slash sweat to get $75. No other podcast I know of is hooking you up with that kind of discount. Uh, Me neither. Look. At all. And if you're trying to get a business, a brand going on the side, or you're really trying to, that's your main bread and butter of income, these are the COVID times, man. Start taking shit seriously. Start getting a real business phone line. Try grasshopper.com forward slash sweat. $75 off that annual plan. And it has a desktop app that you can chat with people on there too. That's huge. I like doing that better because I'm a keyboard guy. Uh, that's our, our headline sponsor for this episode. Our feature sponsors, ExpressVPN. Try expressvpn.com forward slash sweat to get that anonymized uh, internet searching, get three months free on us. We're not saying you're doing something bad. <laughs> but you probably are. But try it out. Uh, Roan, try Roan.com forward slash sweat. Get you 20, 20% off using that link or using the promo code bridge20. Like the bridges of Madison County and then the number 20. Like what? Rondé Barber's number. Fresh books. Uh, FreshBooks, go FreshBooks.com forward slash sweat. Get you 30 day free trial on the accounting software. Get direct deposit the next day. Woo-wee. Warby Parker, Warby Parker trial.com forward slash sweat. Get you five free pairs to try on at home or your office and have everybody say your face is too fat for those or too skinny for those. Imagine all the places people could tell you how fat your face is. You don't like all five? You go 0 for 5? Send them all back. Get five more. Prescription sunglasses and eyeglass wear shouldn't be this expensive. I'm wearing them right now if you're watching my pretty blue hazel eyes, green eyes, whatever they are right now. green for sure. I don't want to get blue. Like, why would you change it from... They change colors. I don't know, man. They change colors now. I'm an X-Man. Yeah. Um, Worst superpower ever. <laughs> uh, Eye changing color. Our buddy, man. our our buddy Vadim will give you the plugs for his uh, his stuff at the end of the episode. Uh, check out Russian astronaut on YouTube. This is a good conversation, philosophical more than his story that we thought we were going into it. And uh, Eric has a new man crush. Let's get the show started. Well, I like uh, it. Oh. What about my sweat equity? You just like him because he likes to smoke. Yeah. I'll talk shit right to Vadim's face. I don't give a shit. <sighs> okay. And then I'll kiss him on the mouth. Yeah, I'm not scared. Are we recording? No. Well, yeah, that whole time we were recording Good. for sure. Good. Yeah. I'm good with that. All right, you well, uh, just get it going, will you, buddy? Yeah, well, yeah. I look. I'll say it again. I'm not scared of Vadim. I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll get in a fist fight with him and then kiss him right on the mouth. I'm not scared, and I don't care if that's our cold open for the show. That's okay. I will not scare you. No. We can kiss like it will be painless. Yeah, there you go, Vadim. Although I will say, he says, "Okay, I'll kiss you right back." Buddy. Yeah, right back. That's how you do it. I will what say, are you gonna do? I will say the Russian accent. I mean, not knowing you, but we've been trained with movies that the Russian accent is scary. Whatever he's saying is evil for some reason. <laughs> Ruski, Ruski coming. Uh, yeah. So we had you on, man. It was probably two years ago. Um, 
and you had a really interesting story. If anybody wants to go back and listen to that, your origin story of sorts. And we got you all the way from, you know, uh, hustling like crazy uh, when you had your e-commerce business and a bunch of like 20 other businesses or jobs uh, back in Mother Russia. And uh, we got you from St. Pete, Russia to St. Pete, Florida. And then uh, we had to cut it off. And I want to hear more now. I want to hear, you know, this, where we left you, you were in an apartment a one-bedroom apartment, I believe, with two or three kids at the time. It was wife. two kids and one wife. Yeah. See, my memory, for someone who uh, is kind of a degenerate, my memory some, uh, somehow pulls Pretty some good. stuff out. I didn't, I'm didn't. i not going to re-listen to our podcast. I don't remember the first half of the story, personally. but I remember it fine. because I felt like such an American piece of shit because the stuff we complain about is like nothing. You know, I like... do remember feeling like a piece of shit. I do remember that feeling. Yes, that feeling for sure. Very That's prevalent. awesome, guys. You're like, I watched five of my uncles die by yeah. assassination in front of me. You know, they do it publicly. And then, you know, I had to start eight businesses because uh, no one's going to help you there. And you're like, uh... and then I celebrated my 13th birthday. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, cool. Well, I was really mad I didn't get a Super Nintendo. Yeah. My Instacart, they forgot. A bag of ice that I clearly checked it, it that was, I wanted. Your story was one of one, the ones we've had on the podcast that's it minimizes a lot of like trivial shit a lot of us worry about. It's something we kind of talk about on the show a lot is like almost that self care, self improvement stuff. And what a lot of us focus on all our attention on a lot of the wrong shit um, because it feels like we need to do it. And then when you really so assess it, you're like, oh, I didn't, I didn't need to. You're care trying to say that a lot of people they focus on like a small things and like a. They work uh, small to big. When you should work big to small. If that makes sense. Yeah, I think everybody focus on, like, everybody have different sizes, <laughs> as you know, and. Uh, <laughs> That's and actually that them. is incredibly profound. <laughs> Everybody's <laughs> sizes of shit that they're worrying about is different, right? Like, Correct. you know, like uh, the shit we're complaining about to yeah. us, it's so big. Right. And then the people who are starving to death don't give a fuck about our internet connection speed. Uh, right. That's that right. sort of thing. It's just like, oh, yeah. That, that, and that, to be thing. honest with you guys, I will not like connect it like uh, countries or uh, nations or right. religions under one like umbrella. If you are Russian, that you don't care. Like, or if you are American, you like so lazy or do nothing or whatever. So it's like basic stereotypes. But majority of people in Russia, they have certain problems and they uh, never reach any higher problems. I will say, right? And it's totally fine for them. And uh, everybody have their own universe. That's a really yeah. Yeah, I I, I will generalize because that's what I like to do. But uh, well, just so like, much easier from a comedian so standpoint. Much easier to generalize. It, huh? look, yeah, but it, it'd be really details. tough if you went on stage and you're like, women. Some women are like, well, okay, a fraction of women they're really bitchy, and then there's another like, not all women are bitchy, but right. some of them are. Uh, and uh, I'm going to talk about them, but not they're it, not always on their period. Like if you keep like jamming it down like that for shorthand, yeah. it, it's a 33 minute podcast. So for shorthand, I just try to think like for shorthand, we'll just, just be, be just be xenophobic just, just and be racist. A yeah, uh, yeah. I just think Americans have a like a, a low self esteem of some sort, and I think that that can help a little bit. That anxiety can push you in a way. It can also bog you down. But I feel like we're always like, God, we're a piece of shit country, or we know we can do better, and kind of that. I wouldn't say everybody has that, but I'd say there is a general. Uh, gestalt of that. I uh, love that word. I love that I word. Will, I, to be honest with you, I don't know because I would argue with you if I have like a piece of data that we can move left to the right and see like, okay, X amount of people, they think this and X amount of people, they think this. But, oh, but that's the beauty uh, of, in, of, of in bullshit reality, arguments. Of you, don't need, don't, no, like, you, you don't need, need data. Like, 10 people and or like a thousand people and you make your opinion based upon their uh, kind of reality to uh, always will be wrong. Totally agree. There's bias, right? So it's one of those things you have to kind of go, is this my 
point of view overtaking that opinion. Yeah. Who has like a point of view? Nobody. Like it's all built by society, by our friends, family. Yeah. An well, original <laughs> point of view that is not, you know, previously. Yeah, you know. Not even exists. No, I, I, I you would know? say it's, it's hard to do. It's iterative. Yeah, I would say because it's. It's like I heard a, uh, a speech about all creative is is iterative. Yeah, nothing's, it is. Nothing's new. And then he explained all the Apple products that have come out in the last 20 years. And he's like, well, let's go from iPod to right now. And it was like, okay. we They made 17 versions of the iPod. Yeah. <laughs> and they everybody bought each one of them because they had to. Then the iPhone, they made it so you had to. Forced obsolescence because your yeah. cell phone becomes a pager. Yeah. I just Once recently you- watched... Uh, and to be honest with you, I was a little bit high and I watched about like Good. two hours of like monkeys. They just do things without monkeys comments. doing things while you're high. I love that shit. And uh, we are very, very close to them. And uh, I think uh, when we're buying things or when we enjoy some shiny stuff, it's <laughs> it's all from like uh, when we was like a monkey. So yeah, monkey we, reaction, we, we man. In, in, in the forest, yeah. When well, we see something sparkling, we'll... In the marketing world, we know everybody buys on emotion, right? Yeah. And these emotions, actually, our animal instincts. And yeah. sometimes they get affected by people, by society. You know, we're kind of moving yeah. left to the right. You know, you have like a... Uh, in, in Russia, in the winter, people going to the lakes. I think in Canada, they do it too. So you make a hole and then you fish. Ice so, fishing. yeah, and it's called when people moving to the left and to the right, if you poop there, the <laughs> your poop actually hitting walls, but it's not going anywhere. And uh, a lot of people, they just hitting walls, but they actually on the same place. Ah, gotcha. Yeah, I yeah. got it. Yeah. They were all shitting in the same plumbing. Yeah. 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 So we're all shitting in the same river. <laughs> Um, well, I mean, we the same. But, write that down, write that, but down. your story, it, it's still going. And that's why I found it interesting. I, I don't know. It, it's always interesting. I always think of, um, you know, entrepreneurial kind of things in an American mindset. A lot of the time, forgetting that just because I know there's constraints in other countries and my, my brain for whatever reason, doesn't want to go look into, you know, how people make it in other countries and stuff. But I do think you have a unique perspective of someone, maybe not point of view. Maybe you're a basic bitch in the point of view department. I, but I, I can tell you the I disagree. Secret, like a immigrant secret, secret, because let's say in Russia we have a bunch of immigrants, and when they coming, everybody start think that they take somebody job, they like they yeah. do something bad, whatever. And the, Russia has when, immigrants, huh? Yeah, oh, a, a bunch. Like no kidding. Can you imagine like? 90% of all money Russian, like a Russian money sitting in one city in Moscow. So everybody trying to get in Moscow, uh, and, uh, yeah. from, uh, like from different countries from like Russia. So when somebody coming to new place first, uh, you know that everybody don't give a shit about you. For sure. <laughs> like, and <laughs> when you fair. realize that you only in charge in your life, like, all your actions will be either put you in jail or put you in the I don't know, in nice chair. Uh, this is the first part. Second part. I like how a Russian man only wants a nice chair. That's all he wants is uh, just give me a nice chair. The utility of a nice That's chair. The pinnacle. Good enough. Look Good at enough. this. How nice this freaking chair is, though. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> Just saying, it's good to be thankful. You, you could have said, I mean, it's like throne, a throne. but you went chair, yeah. But, but Do you know, fine. like, a, where, where a king's sitting? He's, this you know, kind of yeah, I don't have to share the chair with the rest of the people yeah, I live it's with. It's good, it's easy to have it's a you chair. Know, he's not, he's not looking for the world, he's, he's looking for a good chair. chair. Yeah, he's been on his feet all day. So, in second part, it's like a noise. We all have a bunch of noise daily and information. When you're coming to the new country, you have no idea about anything and you start learn. You basically became a student that every motivational speakers and these motivational books they're telling you you have to be a student every day but but everybody not really understand how to be a student so mm. to be a student you have to remove information uh that distract you from 
uh, I will say, you know, you can learn if you will go to bad uh, coach, he will teach you how to do things bad. Like we know the earth, like we good. like we know the earth is flat now, right? So yes. like yes. we had to retrain exactly. our brains to learn that. Well, yeah, I, as an immigrant, Science. he you know he's got a lot of stuff coming in. There's a lot of people that might try and take advantage of you, and there's a lot of like uh, smoke and fog that you got to kind of sift through. Not to mention, you just have to yeah you're, because you're you for example you you met like twenty people who start I don't know, creating condoms, and you like and they fail. They all fail, and you like it's no way I will open like condom factory, <laughs> a startup condom. For sure. <laughs> I have a startup like, condom business. Yeah. yeah, and it's sitting very, very deep. You not even think about it. It's just when a uh, new thought coming to you, you just decline it right away. Mm. Like you not even touch it. <laughs> it yeah, just, that's it not just easy. It without knowing. That's not easy, though. <laughs> I feel like that's like old guy logic. That's like kind of how you remember when you were younger and you try to tell your dad a bunch of shit. It's just like, yep. It's just like not paying attention to it. Uh. You, you're like, this shit is not going in his brain at all. Yeah, yeah. You well, know, if you can get there, yeah, it's hard to. That's not, not easy to just filter out your thoughts and recognize yeah. your thoughts as being stupid because <laughs> they, you do. Everybody has stupid thoughts, that's for sure. Yeah, and you can, I mean, sometimes you can tell that yes, it was stupid, but well, yes, most of the time it, yeah. it's pretty legit. <laughs> yeah, well, you think I'm thinking this? It must be a good idea. I don't. I trust myself really well. I think an, I've got some good thoughts. It's an efficient way to kind of. Be but, present about thinking, I would say. I, I, but, I'd say if you read that in the morning, something like that every morning, like, hey, don't sift, sift through the bullshit you need all day. And if you can yeah, remind and, yourself and of that, you know. Bullshit, actually, you keep this own bullshit. <laughs> yeah. And th this, oh, your yeah, own bullshit not food. allowed you to move. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, let's say when you meet with new person or with person that you met maybe once. And if you know exactly... And everybody have this feeling when you already know like what this person will say next. You already know what will happen next. So now you're actually wasting time sitting and you're not learning anything and you just waste like his time and your time. And the same happened when we uh, moving to another country, you don't have anything to apply. So you don't have your own beliefs about how to get driver license. You just have no idea and you go and Google it. And you don't listen to anybody. You just go and Google it. Yeah, you so, didn't come here as a Republican or a Democrat. You came mm -hmm. here and you uh, saw that they both suck. And then, <laughs> you know, you don't vote. You can't yeah, vote. Yeah, I mean. But you, the idea is that, like, you I, don't come and show up and then, like, you just automatically lay into these how things. How about I'll give, a, I'll give maybe a more uh, practical metaphor. <laughs> Real? Uh, getting a new job. You work, for a new, Russia, you you work for a new company. The one thing a lot of people don't like when you're in a new office or something is you're gonna change the, you're gonna change the whole game that and foreigners, but uh, you're gonna come in and change everything around, right? Unless you're brought in to really do that. So like, you have to sometimes retrain yourself on how to act in a new environment with intra personality, intra personal kind of relationships, but also like uh, learn their system, learn the things they do that you can't come in because my my natural proclivity a lot of the time, you know, doing the consultant's work is coming in and going, oh, here's 20 things you guys should be doing. Uh, and knowing that, like you're saying, not really listening the whole way through. And I'm trying to do a predictive answer back to them to speed it up. And that was something I had to figure out how to go. Okay, you see, take, but take that first day and be vanilla. Be Just be blank. Yeah, like every time when we're trying to predict things, uh, it's most of time uh, like we have certain information and in this our brain trying to collect and try to pre always make a prediction in order to run from animal <laughs> and be not exactly oh, dude I was going to say the same thing. I, I thought you were going to say that well, no, no I was going to say like <laughs> I are you think for the, real we're saying that I was, point, <laughs> I was trying to make a joke the point he's getting at is that like, like your brain has stuff that comes in and it's like you're so you don't die, and if you assume that some you just your brain is is the tendency is to assume that somebody's out to get you, and you have to be on the defensive. And when you assume that, how's that going to work out for you? You're going to be on the defensive, and you're going to be a rival to whatever person or situation you're in, and that doesn't 
ever work mm -hmm. the way you want it to. And that, I believe ego is the big, big part in it. And the ego actually move our civilization forward. <laughs> and this is how we like even remember that somebody beat us last time and we <laughs> still don't like this animal or uh -huh. still don't like this human. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And the, this is move us forward. I but, just had an ice bath longer than Eric, like twice as long. It yeah, so <laughs> Law had his first ice bath today. He's Let's gonna, talk about that. I'll first one over him. here. But the, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm seeing other ice baths. What but, the yeah. fuck are you talking yeah, and about? The, what? Like, even right now, evolution move, moving us. And if we're talking about individuals, it always will be one picture. But if we're talking about everybody, it will be like way different perspective. Sure, yeah. Most, but yeah, it's the thing where it's like, oh man, society's going to hell. And then you go around and you talk to people out publicly. It's like, where are all these terrorists we're talking about? And all these people who saw everybody I talk to is usually pretty nice. And uh, why are we just uh, shitting on everything all of a sudden? Like, why is everything a, a conflict? Yeah, we, Eric and I both did away with uh, major media news years ago and our lives are a lot better for it because that's shit. That's like fringe fear shit. And so most of us live in the gray. Most of us are. It's always fear. Yeah. Yeah. You're all afraid of everything. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's true. I mean, yeah, the ego stuff, it's like, uh, it got us to a certain point in evolution and then it, Ego? It, it needs to be kind of peeled back a little bit where it's like, okay, that got us there. But at this point, we're kind of still s laying the pedal to the metal on it. And we might need to, you know, yeah, lay you wanna, off it a little bit. Right? Too much is bad. Too little is not good either. Uh, you know, you want to be like 80% ego like I scored in the Asher strategy test. All right. What was the next thing you had? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, especially like a jerks, you know, like for society who's like very, very jerky people. Sure. They usually have this like a huge ego and they like pushing very hard. And, and they're in power too. They're the ones with the power too because yes. they want the power because they have a huge and ego. And it's up to you. You want to be this jerk and be on the top or you want to live happy and fulfilling <laughs> <Yeah>. life. <laughs> in well, my yeah, opinion, exactly. yeah, but when you're either or. When you have that ego, you, f you believe that's a fulfilling life though. If you're 100% right? ego the, and yeah. no empathy, the, you... You probably don't even know that that is not a fulfilling yeah, life you, because you, have no you get a boner off of being a CEO. Till you, till you maybe get some ayahuasca right, ritual. Yes. They, yeah, but DMT, you, you, no, you would have mushrooms, whatever we need to do here. Those CEO guys, they don't have that. That doesn't. They don't even think of that as an option. Because they're not they, looking they for personal growth. They don't think they're missing growth. out. Right. They don't think. Why do you need to grow more? You're making $42 million a year. What do you, what, what else do you yeah, want? But at some point they feel lonely. And they right. Feel yeah. Miserable. Oh, sure. I could tell that. And too. now, and then they start discovering some... like what's going on. Here's the money. Here's the, my. But I'm uh, still uh, sad. Girls, whatever. I'll just fast forward this conversation to, yeah, those guys get peed on. They like it uh, because they want to be told what to do, you know? Right? Sure, sure. That's yeah. where you're going to go. Oh, I shouldn't have predicted. It was Damn a ball. It. I was going to say ball stomping. <laughs> yeah. It's the beginning of billions if you stomp. watch it on Showtime. Sure. Yeah. yeah. And not the, not everybody like the same. If you, for example, no, everybody's know, the some same. Some people Vadim. like, you know, their balls to just be kicked. <laughs> we generalize I mean, here. I, I think environment dictate uh, uh, who should be successful in certain society. Let's say in uh, North Korea, if you want to be successful, you have to be a certain like a level of jerkness should be there. Yes. Like, you have to have like... You're buying in hard on that stuff. <laughs> you are in. Like, yeah. Three faces. But uh, if, you, if you're talking about like New Zealand, you probably have to have very nice like uh, qualities like Empathy you might, yeah, you might actually have to be a good, a good person leader, who's smart. Like really good leader, yeah. yeah, not just dictator. Or dumbos so, that just never going to leave that island. Yeah, That's yeah, why yeah. I think it's like everywhere is a little different. Sheep people. They do have a lot of sheep in New Zealand. Yeah. <laughs> Sheeple. They got rid of coronavirus, I saw in an article. <laughs> I was like, but this is kind of what we were talking about. It plays to the American self-esteem that's like, fuck, they did it? We should be able to do it. And it's like, bro, that we're kicking their ass in coronavirus. We're like 50,000 to 12 or whatever they got. Florida's like the eighth biggest country. Hell yeah, it is. <laughs> if you if you add it as a country, Florida would be like yeah. number eight. Yeah. This is actually a big problem when everybody telling you you're the greatest and you're the, the 
the best one right yeah <laughs> you actually start thinking about like okay i'm the greatest like fuck everything i will go and lay I, down <laughs> i believe there's a duality to it i believe there is I, I think there's that where it's uh you know we we kick ass around the world and really try to help kind of ego stuff but also like you talk to guys that have done a lot of great things for the country and they they're the one it's like Someone watches me watch uh, football. I'll hate on our team more than anybody out loud at a party because I it's like it's not good enough or whatever. Like you know that you know everything too intimate, you know. And uh, you I follow. know your true potential, right? You're right. Not living up to it. I'm really disappointed. Right. And so you deal with both of those kind of things. I I don't think it's as easy as uh, as like the old th- the kind of stereotype of like. America no, or Mar- Americans all feel like they're cocky and like uh, America World Police or whatever. Um, Team kind of America st- World Police. That's what I was going for. No. That kind of stuff. That's a great movie. Wait, I feel like you were on like a second point of three or four, <laughs> and we have. And yet, I still kept talking on and on yeah, and on. That's what this podcast is about. Yeah, I think like a old. I've been, let's say, in Georgia. Remember, I told you about like a, it's close to Georgia. It's called Abkhazia. Mm-hmm. It's like way different mentality in this country. Normally, I wouldn't have to clarify Georgia the state or Georgia the country. Yes, it's a country. Yeah. The country, Georgia. Yeah, See? Yeah. Country. Yeah. In Florida, they're, they're thinking Georgia, they're like Macon or what, name of Georgia. And the, yeah, yeah, you know, it's like way different mentality. Tifton. You mm-hmm. can't even imagine how people can live in certain rules that they still live. And the, uh, let's say Georgia, they have a little bit different. Uh, uh, so the whole idea is when you move from different places and when, when you live in the different families, you realize that all people, I mean, kind of similar. Let's say a bunch of Russians or Europeans, uh, Europeans, they talking about like Americans, that Americans are uh, surface people. So... You can't talk with somebody on deep stuff about like, I don't know, like how uh, deep your pain is or something like that. The ego. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not true because it's all about people. And again, I know a lot of Russians who live in here and who know that they're not able to find friend who will deeply understand their pain. But it's because they know that they're not looking for it. Oh. oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. They broke. They just gave up. Yeah. <laughs> you make yourself that's, broke. That's sad, man. That's sad to think that. I mean. Shoot yourself in the foot. But you're right. It is, like, that's a problem with the, the generalization. I'm at, oh, or it's like, it's always individuals. Everybody you talk to is nice. You know? Like, when's the last time you talked to somebody who was like, that guy was a fucking dick. Like, it's so rare you can remember all the time somebody was a dick to you. Oh, you know? No. And did we lose Vadim? Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, Putin we'll took you out, bro. Yep. Too bad. Yeah, uh, damn <laughs> We're good. I have to change my camera because this is... Uh, Does he look different? Is that different? Yeah, we're yeah. minutes. I he have brought to, in a body double. Yeah, click one button. You're the w- you're the best well-lit uh, guest we've had via Zoom. Yeah. That's for damn sure. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Looks nice. <laughs> um, Looks nice. Like so, crisp shirt you're wearing. That's how he rolls, man. Uh, I think I believe you. You uh, believe in the philosophy of not having a lot of different clothes, so you don't have to pick. Didn't we talk about yes. that once? So, yes, but uh, you know, even if you believe something, it not means you follow all this. Oh yeah, there's. I mean, there's times where we I'm get, trying. We get in a Greco Roman wrestling. <laughs> you got one, a big once. pile of feather boas sitting on the floor behind you, don't you? <laughs> right. Shake it I mean, up. We start cleaning up everything from our apartment, maybe. Uh, four years ago, like heavily, and we have three kids. They always get a bunch of uh, toys from uh-huh. birthdays, whatever. And we just we're not looking anymore. Like it's good or not, we just right in the garbage. We donated majority, but uh, most of time it's been in the garbage. Yeah, exactly. yeah. Uh, I think uh, if you're using this time wisely in the quarantine era, you're purging. You know, a lot of crap in your house. Mm. You look around your own house. Before going to try to fix someone else's, you know? Yeah. Uh, and I can tell you the difference when you, for example, I'm very sensitive for uh, marijuana. If I smoke a little bit or eat a little bit, I'm, 
I feel it. I feel the first, <laughs> first way coming and all this stuff. Good, so good. I, I want to record. Actually, I just uh, spoke with uh, my friend about it. I want to put like a video camera when I get kind of, you know, when everything should be perfect. When I start cleaning up everywhere, my desk. When kids start doing something, I'm start telling them like you 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 can't come here and do this blah blah blah. So I I. I became like a kind of angry perfectionist. <laughs> then, as soon as you smoke a little bit, uh, who cares, man? <laughs> or eat. The thing is, like, people change. I can prove it. I can sit in one place and be a little bit pissed. After I smoke, people start coming to me, like my kids, my wife, and like I'm truly believe on this energy. Yeah, man inside us actually can take everybody out or bring everybody inside well it's probably so. a dead giveaway when you're giggling at waving your hand in your face <laughs> they probably <laughs> no, know they can daddy probably, looks funny that's that's shit ask, right now let's that, go hang out with daddy let's, let's ask dad for money uh, he is partying yeah. let's party no dude i completely agree with that it's it's a it's something that i think especially in america that just gets brushed aside where it's like energy it's like you could tell when somebody's pissed when you just walk out. They don't have to say nothing. Like even if their face is completely blank, you can yes. still feel this thing yes. coming off of people. And, and you feel it too. Like when all this relax relaxation coming, you feel like a stages. Yeah. Like removing from you and people start coming. <laughs> I mean, it sounds obvious. Dogs feel it. What for we're sure. saying, but like mm -hmm. it really is uh, something that people just brush off so much this like idea that they're putting off an energy that's not cool for other people. It's like, just shut the fuck Yeah, I don't need to hear that. Like, go back to your commune, hippie. Like, right. it's like, no, dude, like, that's obvious. Like, it matters how you are sitting in a room putting off whatever. It's like, people know. I just hate that it's just so, like, brushed aside, and two, I guess. Two things. Like, first, I, I'm thinking about, like, is it, uh reality and all other people actually uh separate from me <laughs> or i just playing a game where i able to pull some energy out or like uh, a good energy or bad energy and then when you look at the birds and uh, can you imagine like a one huge uh, amount i don't know how to say it correctly like a bunch of birds together they make a waves the they know like each other where, where, where to move like a flock and yeah and can you imagine one sick bird actually not able to move or everybody trying to and they can sense each other yeah yeah oh okay yeah i got you yeah no like, that shit's crazy they, they that those like birds a... they'll like all turn on a dime instantaneously it's insane yes so, so it's the so... same idea it's the same idea they're yes, feeling yes. there's some kind of communication going on there we can't quantify at this point Except eventually for... we probably will be able to say that's this radio wave that is communicated yeah. it's your very brain. hard to catch it from first time let's say if you if you get high first time and you will not notice it because you will be uh, distracted by your uh like a sensations <laughs> yeah <laughs> I have... focus on this right moment and you, if you if you do it for purpose, you will notice like a straight line, and you're able to separate it and remember it when you not high anymore. <laughs> yeah. And because you know the difference, now you act a little differently. And you, let's say, you you work on this like a different dimension that you're trying to fix. Yeah. When you, for example. Uh, but yeah. you can tap into that without but, weed eventually. No. Or it doesn't even have to be weed. Whatever. I mean, if you're super Sorry, drunk, but you're feeling very peaceful and you're thinking, feeling very thoughtful, like it doesn't have to necessarily be weed. Weed yes, does. Weed the, does the produce the difference. result of calmness yes. normally and yes, like yes. inclusiveness and all that. But like it, you know, it's all about a different mindset and basically that we live kind of different lives as we go along where it's like, I'm this person from one minute to the next and. Well, I uh, like, but I'll be doing a lot of a lot of the time. I had to catch myself in a bad habit. I was bombing on stage a lot a couple of years ago, and I ha was getting so much stuff going on. And I'm coming into a gig with all this like, got to get shit done, energy kind of stuff, and didn't think about it. So I had to start like, right before show starts, just 
I have to go walk somewhere, you know, by myself and just go like, people are here to have a good time, even if you're not. I'm in a capable good mood. of giving them a good time. I've had, I'm I've, gonna I've do had it. people tell me like, oh, you're, this friend died, and then you got to go on stage, and you're like, fuck, <laughs> you know, shit like huh? that. No, I've, I definitely hear bad news, and then you have to like. I've had it literally like a sitcom, like 30 seconds before getting on stage. And I'm like, that's fucked up. Why did you tell me that? Forget it. And then you're just like, oh. all right, they don't know. The audience doesn't know about that. It's not, they don't need, they don't need that heaviness. And on it, and I have to, you have to kind of go, I have to tell myself, remember to smile like you're having a good time because I have resting bitch face. And so mm-hmm. I can tell jokes and people don't get the cadence that it, I'm, I'm, you know, that it, I'm joking around yeah. sometimes. I, I also noticed, and you said right about like a stage, when you're on the stage, it's like you feel it completely. It's all about energy that you kind of communicate with humans. Oh, yeah. That's the, I mean, but I, if you could bottle that energy, like when it's going well, fuck, it's the best. I also noticed, for example, when you tell a joke, uh, like with my clients, for example, somebody staying in front of me and I telling joke, if, I, if I'm not in the best mood or in, on the rush mood, I will use, it's very interesting, I will use my ego when I said a joke and somebody didn't laugh on my joke, on my joke or didn't react, my ego start kicking out. And now I start getting from the like a funny mood. <laughs> I'm start getting on the like, what's going on? Like, this is you're bombing. Like, That's funny. Something broke yeah. with me Laugh or with now. this guy, or like, what's going on? Yeah. <laughs> Why are you not laughing? Yeah. And then it's very hard to recover. Very hard. Yeah. And the, also, I noticed that when you uh, joking and not expecting, maybe by accident or like you you not even pay attention reaction, but you just continue joking, and kind of overflow other person then it's break true. So, yeah. Uh, um, yeah, I don't think either one of us <laughs> don't expect people. Like, I kind of do expect, if I'm not, if I'm not getting laughed at, I'm going to... Maybe you're expecting to get some sort of energy feelings. Sure, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Definitely expect it, but I cannot, I'm not going to Otherwise, give all my gonna... energy to this person who's not going to laugh. I mean... No, it's taxing. That's good shit. No, and you can feel it sometimes. Like, you sit down and it's like... Uh, this person probably not the mood for right. Uh, I'm not putting energy into this joke. Yeah, I, I won't even it's do like it. EQ stuff, emotional intelligence, all that stuff. Like trying to assess. I look the same with going on stage. You have to assess the room a little bit before you get on. If you can watch a couple of people before you and go, all right, they're really tight. Oh, if you bring anything political at all, that's going to be a shit show. Like uh, whatever it is, you're trying to assess. You know. The, the yeah, room you have or, to feel yeah. the field. <laughs> right. yeah. And to feel the field, you have to slow down. I and literally feel you... some guys' heads and stuff as I walk up onto the stage. I just like to rub some yeah, I mean, bald guys' heads. Yeah, it's an old I think Bruce it's all trick. your <laughs> imagination. You can go to the stage and you can do like this. <laughs> yeah, sure. And f- make <laughs> like you feel it, but you actually can believe that you, you feel the people. Uh, and you start playing this that dance. dance is copyrighted That's by me. Good. So, uh, yeah, the law does that already. I don't know. You're going to have to bring You're going to owe me example. a couple of things. I can work with you guys Jeez. right now. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> but just being silly like that opens it up, too. I mean, like I've told people before, I, I'd sit down with clients and I used to keep those worlds separate. And then I'd, I kind of lead in some way telling them I do stand up at night. And it opens a whole conversation up. And like, uh, we get. Kind of to the point quicker a lot of the time. Yeah, I think a lot of people relax a little bit more when they hear yeah. that. It's just like, oh, this guy's joking around all the time. And then I had to neg- navigate, uh, and I have a preface. I'm like, I'm not like your favorite comedian, whoever it is, <laughs> because that's what they're thinking. Are you like Jeff Dunham? <laughs> I'm like, now, what kind of puppets do you have? The opposite. Whatever also, the opposite of that is. Yeah. Yeah, recently, maybe like a half year ago, my daughter, she broke arm at, at school. And uh, somebody from school, they call us and they on the panic, like your daughter's broken arm, blah, blah, blah. We came there. Uh, the principal was scared. <laughs> Teacher was scared. Everybody was scared, crying. And I'm like, hey, guys, what's up? <laughs> she will be fine. Like, no worries. Yeah, break I'm the tension. Talking with people. <laughs> yeah, man. I, I, I tend to have a, I tend to have a yeah. contrarian uh kind of mood going into a lot of stuff so if like yes. there is an emergency and everybody's yeah. freaking out i can get into like laser focus like get um, to the hospital all right all right, yes. all right. like so 
Yeah, you and took, then when you we tried. get to the hospital, uh, the doctor said we have to do like a surgery right away, blah, blah, blah. So we go to the room and because she cried a lot and she tired, it was very dangerous to put a lot of uh, uh, how do you sedative. It? Yes. So they did a little bit and they was very worried to make it nice and, and cool in the, in the ER because they're not used to do it. So, and the, again, the whole atmosphere was like, right. I, I start fuck with people. Uh, yeah, <laughs> so, Dude, that's so great. So hard. And the, everybody start laughing hardly and all emotions like just disappear, like all this uh, energy disappear. And, and they did great job from first take, perfect. The, the doctors tell us they never saw the perfect, like a line uh, from ER, never. Wow. So, yeah, man, that's hard to, you know, people need, the world needs people to just take it down a notch. It's not, everybody just chill out. Like, it's, I, I feel myself saying it constantly. Or it's just like, can we just, can we just, everybody just relax? Just was, this is not that big a deal. Can we just chill out for a minute? But, dude, yes. especially right for whatever reason, right now, all over the place, everybody's so tense. Yeah. Just like, don't say the wrong if, shit. It's if like, you are paramedic and you know, what to do exactly, you can be on rush <laughs> because you don't feel these emotions. Yeah. But if you're a regular person, if you're on rush, <laughs> it, it usually like I make it worse. So. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Well, uh, I, <laughs> we're going to have to have you on again to tell, tell oh, us your Badi, story. Listen, you got to come, <laughs> you and me, we'll do a so We don't need law. We'll do but, uh, my uh, own, we'll talk philosophy. We'll Jesus. go for three hours. Man. I didn't know this is a grinder setup. Um, what? If you want, if you don't want a shirt, you don't have to wear a shirt. I won't wear one for <laughs> sure. You know what I'm saying, why would I? I would want to have make sure I get out. through the punch list you had. I didn't know if there's more points to, you know, being an immigrant and coming in uh, to a situation. It's, I, and to, uh, to me, it looks like you're reading off a prompter. I'm just thinking about all the immigrants listening and writing down and waiting for the second point of what Vadim was bringing to the table. I, we got to three. I just kept talking about whatever. What I'm trying to get into this country. We got to number three, right? Like, uh, uh, three, I don't know. Well, I don't know. <laughs> we can do it. We, we we try to keep it tight because someone told us three years ago that uh, business podcasts are optimal at thirty three minutes or something. So and, we try uh, to keep we it. We pretty much that. clung to that pretty hard. So, uh, but it's a good convo, man. That's I mean, all good stuff. And uh, no, but can, he, you're can you throw out a plug? You're for coming your over to my house. We're gonna sit at the table for real. Break right. it down, man. I still Love believe if people are able to watch something like more than 20 minutes, they, it doesn't matter anymore. We're, we like, might work on that format going forward. It, it will be like two hours. Or, I, look, I, the reason Rogan's podcast is really good. You and me, good buddy. We'll do it. We don't need him. Is that, that that third hour, people let their guard down and really talk yeah, about stuff. Third hour. <laughs> I mean, we got pretty deep in 33 minutes, man. I mean, it's... That's how we roll, man. That's how... From, shit. From the moment I met Vadim, I was like, let's get into some heavy shit. Yeah. You know? So I, I can continue if you guys want, like from bed where we used to live, like all together. My wife should just get a uh, delivery baby. No. And we, <laughs> you don't want to from there? <laughs> I was like, nah, 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 nah. nah. We kind of already started talking talk in a, like, a way that the show is going to end. So like, we can't keep. I gotta no, kind of go. We can't change that no, right but, now. But it's why don't you plug of... plug your uh, your website and social? Uh, because I'm lazy and didn't ask you not before. Well, I, he, I'm not joking around. Me and Badim, we're is, gonna we're gonna do frozen? podcast. Did he freeze? He's very still. Well, we can get him off of there. All right, doesn't seem like he's still there. Oh, well, now he's moving. Okay. Yeah. Uh, he's still so there, buddy. Was... It was me or you? No. We'll, we'll we'll have you back on, or you guys start a new offshoot podcast, and I'll. Be I'm a, not joking. Around. I'll be a cuck in the corner watching. I will. Whatever. I'm not I will invite you too. I just start. Uh, it's called Russian Astronaut. No uh, I I invite different people with different stories. So I is, have it a guy. is it on iTunes? Where you got? I mean, where? Yeah, I, didn't know, just, I didn't know you had that going. Just YouTube. Just but, uh, YouTube? Okay, we're at. We got to talk, dude. Yeah, we, I have only on. two people so far, but last one was a uh, the okay. guy. Uh, he was a, a football player, American football, and then he became a ballet dancer. And we discussed like uh, how all this bullying was. Oh, happening. I know who this Shit. is. What's his name? Herschel Walker. Gavin. Gavin. Um, I don't think so. You know him. I know a lot of random 
<laughs> NFL trivia, so I know a lot of people from ballet. <laughs> no, I mean like I'm, I'm, I'm pretty NFL, good with the ballet. NFL stuff, nerd. So. I can tell. Like w before you answer it, I already knew that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wanted to figure it out. Yeah, it's if fun. there's gonna be a trivia question, we're both gonna just yeah. You want to try start to cranking it around? But I didn't hear that story. I want to say there was like a real sports on him. Yeah, we, we anyway, could do that uh, all day. Look, uh, always entertaining. Uh, Thanks for coming on, man. And we'll uh, we'll have you back on. And and you guys, you guys start your own podcast. I'm right? not joking it's around. Our... We're gonna me and Vadim are gonna, we're gonna do a philosophical three plus minimum three hours talking. Yeah, we're we have to s maybe smoke on like after one. And a half okay. Hour. Yeah. Oh we'll yeah. Marriage. I see what's going maybe on. Do that. It's we'll all about, about marijuana. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah we'll talk about like uh, all this AI. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh man. That Russian detail. Get some indica and it gets real scary with that Russian voice in your earphones. All right. I'm scared of it. All right, man. See ya. Thank you.